If you're looking for the best CapCut alternative, Filmora has got you covered. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because Filmora and CapCut kinda look the same. Now, this is Filmora's homepage, more or less the start welcome screen. And this is uh, the homepage for uh, CapCut. Now, and this is CapCut for PC. The mobile versions also look the same. CapCut for mobile and Filmora AI Video Maker for mobile look kinda the same. Now. Uh, to create a project in CapCut, just click on create new project and it's going to populate uh, the menus where you add your media and all that. If we go to Filmora, click on new project, you'll see almost uh, a kind of uh, more uh, the same interface uh, with the same kind of uh, menus more or less and all that. So the user interfaces are similar. So if you look at this, and you look at this, they're more or less similar. So if you're looking to move from CapCut to another alternative, Filmora is a good choice. Now, they're both packed with a ton of AI features, background removal tools. For example, let's say we just do a quick import of anything right here. Just add it here. Uh, there are a ton of things you can do here. Remove BG, uh, auto removal, mask, and so on and so forth retouch there's a ton of things uh, right inside CapCut but this applies to uh, Filmora as well and I feel that Filmora has more uh, AI features uh, and you can easily see this for example if you go back to the home page start, uh, startup window and you click on the toolbox you'll see all the AI stuff uh, right inside here it's just a ton of things audio to video smart short clips scene cut AI video enhancer image to video AI color palette, smart background music generation, auto reframe, AI portrait cutout. This is also available in uh, uh, CapCut, AI translation, AI force mosaic, AI object remover, AI sticker, AI voice cloning, AI music, AI image, AI text based editing also available in uh, CapCut, silence detection, AI copywriting, AI bit sync, AI text to video, and then we've got instant mode right there. Now, in Filmora, you can see that some of these features are clearly laid out. Uh, sometimes in CapCut, for you to get some of these things, you need to know what you're looking for. So it's a little bit uh, kind of on the edge. So there are some slight differences and obviously uh, some of the AI features in uh, Filmora are more uh, than you see in uh, CapCut. But if you're looking for basic editing, CapCut has got you covered. But because uh, the US is uh, banning, unbanning, because as of like uh, 12 hours ago, TikTok uh, services were started, uh, were restored in the US, then uh, you'll need maybe an alternative uh, just in case one day uh, TikTok or CapCut includes the company that owns both of those uh, platforms is ByteDance and in case it's uh, suspended or banned in the US and you still need to continue with your workflow, this is something that you can use. So they're all good uh, options. Uh, obviously, as I've mentioned, uh, they are available on cross platforms. That is uh, CapCut is available for uh, Windows, Mac and on mobile. So it's really awesome that you can use that on Android and iOS on your PC, Windows PC, or on Mac, Filmora, the same. Uh, and one thing I like about Filmora, and if I take you to the Filmora page right here, as you can see, desktop video editor, Mac video editor, video editor for iOS, uh, video editor for Android, video editor for iPad, is what's uh, really awesome. Let's go to pricing. If we go to pricing, uh, you can see, okay, depending on where you're in the world, uh, the prices may change. I'm in Kenya, so kind of they kind of give us a lower price for this. Uh, I should be more or less like 59.99 per year. And the reason why a yearly plan might be the, be the best option for you is because if you buy this one license, it's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, iPad, and Android. The same applies for the monthly. But if you go for the perpetual, more or less lifetime license uh, for all this, then uh what i'm saying is you just get this and it's only available for windows or mac so the best option would be uh to go with uh something like this a yearly plan uh that is going to feature a ton of things all those ai features 
I've walked you through. As for CapCut, you can buy it uh, for some pro features in uh, the app uh, right inside uh, CapCut. Uh, that is uh, the desktop, uh, the, the mobile app. You can actually buy that. Now, cross-platform, they're all available on all cross-platforms. Uh, they also packed with a ton of templates uh, and effects. For example, you can see a ton of effects. If you want to do a shake in your video, uh, if you want to do a zoom, and you can actually hover right here to see what the shake is going to look like. You can do a zoom, uh, whatever uh, that you want. If you go to uh, uh, CapCut the same, uh, the video effects you can see right here, you can see a meteor shower, a flame frame. Uh, can you see a ton of things? So they kind of look the same. So if you're looking for the best alternative to CapCut, I think Filmora uh, kind of uh, squares it off uh, on this. Uh, as we go to the export options, uh, let's say you wanted to export this. There's a ton of options right here uh, that you can do. Uh, so for example, you've got up to 4k which is really awesome and uh, the bit rates you can set whatever you want including custom the codec you've got them there the format you've got two uh, frame rate depending on what you're working with audio uh, right there now in uh, the option for let's say let's go for maybe stock media or mine let's go for some okay some downloads that I've got right here. Let's say I've got this clip right here. Let's just keep this this way. And let's assume I've made my edits and all that. And let's say I want to export. And I click on the export tab right here. Uh, you can see that I've got the same uh, kind of options, but in Filmora, there are more options for you to work with. So you can deal with uh, uh, custom presets, match project settings, and so on and so forth. You can create your own presets, uh, a title, uh, quality lower, recommended higher, resolution, you can set uh, everything that you want, advanced compression, back up to the cloud, auto highlight, for example, 15 seconds for TikTok, auto reframe. If you have a graphics processing unit, you can enable GPU accelerated video encoding and you can see the estimated uh, video size right there. You can also do device uh, if you're exporting to a device uh, right there, the presets are there. The device if it's an iphone ipad so in filmora you've got a bunch of export options uh, way more than what you have in CapCut. if you want for social media you've got youtube tiktok instagram facebook vimeo it's a ton of things so if you're doing content for tiktok then right here just click on login and so uh, if the tiktok ban uh, is actually uh, script by donald trump once he's sworn in uh, and maybe somebody buys TikTok, 50% of it, or 100% uh, for the business in the US, then clearly uh, the best option would be to kind of work with uh, Filmora uh, in making all those things. If you wanted to burn onto a DVD, then this option is also available. So, although CapCut is more or less mobile fast, uh, and Filmora seems to be more like uh, PC uh, fast, they have all those options available right here. For the export options, Filmora, Crashes, uh, uh, CapCut uh, in all ways, shapes and form. And obviously, uh, they have free and paid versions. But for the free version uh, in Wondershare, Filmora, uh, more or less PC, uh, you'll get a watermark. So just take a note of that. You'll get a watermark. Uh, as for CapCut, this is the free version. I can make all my edits. But what I can't use is some features uh, pro features uh, should be somewhere. You should be able to see some of the pro features. Uh, should be somewhere here. But obviously, there are some pro features that I can't use uh, right inside here. Uh, inside uh, CapCut because I don't have the paid version. But if you have the paid version, everything is open for you to use uh, right there. Uh, there, it's I believe it should be somewhere. Should be on text, auto captions. Here you can see identify filler words. This is a pro feature. Uh, so you can uh, do all that uh, right there. Uh, if you wanted to identify filler words, I remember you have to pay for pro. Obviously, this is also available uh, in uh, the AI transcription and captioning uh, feature. 
uh, in Filmora. W what happens in Filmora is that your credits account for that. I have about 254 credits. And uh, let's say I wanted to do uh, some like speech to text. You'll see uh, it's going to consume four credits uh, from what I have right now. If I wanted to do some translation, let's say to German, what is going to happen is that uh, the uh, credits I'm going to use are going to go up a little bit. Uh, you can do automatic and so on. If you wanted to do dynamic captions uh, right there, and this is more or less the captions that almost everybody uh, is looking uh, at uh, using. Now, one uh, particular section where uh, CapCut wins is uh, with creating dynamic captions uh, because there's a ton of features that you can use. And uh, with CapCut, you can actually import an SRT file and then uh, let's see. Let's see, let's actually just do a quick, let's cut this particular video somewhere here. Uh, let's delete this. And let's say uh, we've got this right here. Let's do uh, the speech to text. Uh, that is uh, the auto captions. Uh, it's almost done. It's generating 45%. And once it's done, uh, you're going to see what I mean uh, in this uh, particular feature. And this more or less, uh, you can see the captions right here, right there. And you can now see the captions tab here and you can see uh, your captions right inside here. So text uh, should be somewhere here. You can do a bunch of options. Uh, there are a ton of templates right here. So you can see uh, what this looks like. It's just downloading quickly this video, and you can see we'll take a look at film more what happens all these effects are easily applied now in filmora uh if you do uh, the speech to text and do like the dynamic captions as i've mentioned uh you'll get all that you want but uh it's very uh, kind of difficult to switch between the styles so that's one of the places where uh CapCut kind of wins but all in all if you're looking for the best CapCut alternative in 2025, Filmora has got you covered. And I hope this video is kind of more or less convincing you to, if you want to switch uh, to a more robust, I kind of find this uh, better looking interface. And as you can see, uh, depending on what layout you're using, they kind of look the same. And you can change your layouts uh, right here, uh, depending on what you're working on. You can see the different layouts. That's the organized layout. And you can see uh, right there, you can go for the timeline uh, kind of layout. And this is what more or less looks like what we have in uh, our CapCut. Uh, click here if you're doing short videos, but you can get the vertical video right here. Uh, if you click on this, go to the classic. This is the old kind of look that we used to have. Uh, but uh, as I've mentioned, if you go to, for the timeline kind of view, then this is what we have in CapCut. So, they are kind of identical, they're similar. Even when you install, download and install the welcome screen to test if you are like, like your laptop supports uh, Filmora or CapCut, kind of look the same. You'd even say they're made by the same company, but Filmora 14 is the best alternative to CapCut right now. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is of value to you. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.